Hello everyone. I hope all of you are fine. I am starting a video series on frequently asked questions in GRV exam. And these questions are based on the recent test takers experiences and my teaching experience over the years. And there is a high probability of getting such concepts and a question types in exam. So if you are preparing for GRV, you should not miss any single video of this series. And if you find these videos helpful, like the videos, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any single video of the series. So this is the first video of the series that involves a triangle. And this shape is highly tested these days and often get wrong by the student. The reason is they assume this BD as an angle bisector. But in two-dimensional geometry, we can't assume anything unless specified because the figure is never drawn to scale. And the question is, we are asked to find the value of this DC. Just pause this video for a while and try to solve this on your own. I assume that all of you have paused and solved this question by now. I will explain three methods to solve this question. First one is conventional method that involves a Pythagoras theorem. If I consider triangle ADB using the Pythagoras theorem, I can find the value of AB. So AB square is equal to 5 square plus 12 square. Based on that, AB is equal to 13. If you see closely, this is a Pythagoras triplet 5, 12, 13. You should remember four common triplets, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, and 8, 15, 17. Considering this whole triangle ABC, this AC square will be equal to AB square plus BC square. I want to convert all of these in terms of DC, one unknown. How can I do that? AC will be equal to AD plus DC and for BC, again using a Pythagoras theorem, that's when BC square is equal to BD square plus DC square, substituting that in this, I can find the value of DC which came out to be 288 by 10 and question asks for least fraction form, that's why DC will be equal to 144 over 5. This is first method and a bit lengthy method. So now let's see the next method which is a quick and efficient method that is by using similar triangle. Just a quick introduction, two triangles are said to be similar if any two angles of triangle are equal to any two angles of another triangle. So if two angles are equal, that means all of three angles are equal because sum of angle in triangle is equal to 180 degree and this is angle angle similarity. Now two triangles are similar, so the sides of both triangle will be in fixed ratio corresponding to their angles. To understand this, if I consider the same shape and trying to understand in terms of angles, if I call this angle DAB is equal to X, so angle ABD must be equal to 90 minus X because of 1 degree. And this angle DBC must be equal to X because this angle B is 90. So just adding these will sum to 90 degree. And this angle BCD will be 90 minus X and CDB is equal to 90 degree. I can form three similar triangles out of this shape. The first one is BDC and three angles are x, 90 and 90 minus x. The second one is ABD, three angles are 90, 90 minus x and x. And the last one is ABC. Again, three angles are x, 90 and 90 minus x. So based on the angle angle similarity, three angles are equal. That's why these triangles are similar. And to understand the theorem, just if I consider the two triangles, ABD and BAD, BAC, so both triangles are similar. Now the property that the ratio of sides are constant for the respective angle, corresponding angle. So if I consider X in upper triangle in front of X, I have BD. In all lower triangle in front of X, I have BC. So BD over BC. So considering angle 90 minus X in front of 90 minus X in upper triangle, we have AD. In lower triangle, I have AB. And in front of 90 in upper triangle, I have AB and in low triangle I have AC. So the ratio is BD over BC must be equal to AD over AB and AB over AC. So first one is based on X angle, second one is based on 90 minus X and third one is based on 90 degree. If I use this in the question now and first of all quickly uh, using the Pythagoras triplet 5, 12, 13 this AB must be equal to 13 now and now if I just substitute the angles in this so the thing is, I need to consider two similar triangles such that I have only one unknown. And that is possible if I use the triangle BDC and 
ADB. Using these two triangle and considering the angle X and 90 minus X. If I consider the angle X in right triangle BDC, in front of X I have DC and in front of X on right triangle, on the left triangle which is ADB that is BD. So the ratio is DC over BD and in front of 90 minus X on the triangle A, BDC that is BD and in triangle ADB that is AD. So this BD over AD. Now I know the all of these sides except the DC. So DC will be equal to 12 into 12 divided by 5 which is 144 over 5. So we got same answer as we got in the last method. And this is by using the similarity theorem. And the last method is based on formula. Although I never recommend to remember the formula, but this shape is highly tested. So it is a good idea to remember the formula. There are three formulas for this. First one is this BD square is equal to AD into DC. AB square is equal to AD into AC. And BC square is equal to DC into AC. Using the first formula, BD is equal to 12 and AD is equal to 5. So that's when 12 square is equal to 5 into DC and DC is equal to 12 square over 5 which is 144 over 5. So based on all three method, first one is Pythagoras theorem, the conventional method. Next one is second method is using the similarity and the last one is using the formula. The best method I recommend is by using the similarity. Although you can use the formula for this for the quick solution, but if the question is twisted, you may get confused. So it is good idea to use the similarity theorem, but it's up to you. I recommend to use the similarity theorem and but you can use any of the three methods and I hope that you find this video helpful. See you in the next video.